啊，大家好，这里是零度解说。就在昨天，谷歌发布了目前最强的 AI 大模型，它就这个 Gemini， 也就是双子座大模型。这是一个原生多模态的 AI 模型，也可以理解为是多合一的全功能 AI 产品。它的诞生几乎耗尽了谷歌内部的全部计算资源，数代不同的专属 GPU 已经全部压上去了，可谓是背水一战。看来大家已经杀红了眼。Gemini 一点零上下为窗口为是三十二 K 啊。它是基于谷歌自家的 t p u s V4 和 V5E 算力啊，进行了大规模的训练，只为和 OpenAI 一争高下。在这次发布会中 ，Gemini 终于揭开了神秘面纱，展现了其文本、图像、视频、音频和代码的无缝推理，并且一口气推出了大中小三个版本。而且更厉害的是，从云上到手机或者本地平板上都可以跑这大模型，听说读写样样都行啊。多项性能已经远超 GPT-4， 有的任务它已经首次超过我们人类了。他就算是一位更强大的全能性选手，接下来就一睹 Gemini 的能力和全部有趣的功能。All right, testing Gemini. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm. What if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black, or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh, if it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Hmm, nice. It is a rubber duck. It is made of a material that is less dense than water. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. Ooh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high, level tone. Oh, okay. The duck is in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. It is unlikely to find ducks here naturally. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue one: This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Clue two: This country loves football and has won the most men's World Cups in football history. Hmm. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock paper scissors. What do you see now? The fingers are spread out to look like the wings of a butterfly. What's this? Big ear and barking mouth. A dog. Sweet. The coin should be under the right hand. Hmm. I don't know. The coin is in the left hand, using a sleight of hand technique to make it appear as if the coin has disappeared. Both objects are round and flat. There you go. Both are food. The orange is a healthier choice than the cookie. Citrus can be calming, and so can the spin of the fidget toy. They are both examples of popular toys that have been enjoyed by children and adults alike for many years. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? Or a bunny with a pink nose. Ooh, I'll keep those in mind. 
Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. <laughs> Smart choice. This is a picture of a crab. That's right. Is this the right order? No, the correct order is Sun, Earth, Saturn. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. Which looks more fun? The one on the right, because it has a loop. What do you think this person might be saying? How about a woohoo? Oh, I love that. I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? Alright, I see you've added a palm tree to the drawing. Change it up with some beachy vibes. What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice! What do you think might happen next? The cat is going to jump to the wall and stick the landing. It's going to be a perfect 10. Oh, and it's a miss. It looks like it was just a little too far away. But don't worry, the cat is a natural athlete and it will be back up there in no time. Okay, I've got one more for you. Describe the drawing I made. It is a simple line drawing of the constellation Gemini. You did a good job of capturing the beauty of Gemini. Nice, that's it. I think we're done. Let's see if our multimodal model Gemini can help make sense of my apartment. And to add a little extra challenge, I'm going to see if Gemini can handle being prompted only in Chinese. We'll start with this photo. Based on the lighting alone, I want to see if Gemini can figure out which direction my apartment faces. And Gemini responds, Okay, so it looks like Gemini says my room is south-facing. So how about this plant? What type of light does it need? Hmm, this is Huilan. So Gemini is saying, this is a snake plant, and it doesn't require a lot of sunlight. Awesome. So I've got a dining room that faces the opposite direction of my bedroom. I wonder if this plant would do better in there. Let me see. And Gemini responds, So Gemini is surmising that my dining room faces north, has lower light, and is therefore better suited for that plant. Okay, that's some apartment planning with Gemini. Stay tuned for more. 看完工人演示以后,不知道大家有何感想。如果你现在就想体验它的Pro功能的话,那么给进入了谷歌巴德官网,官方链接我会放到视频下方。但如果你想本地运行这个大模型的话,那么需要等几天了。因为在谷歌